Here I have LG Q6 and let me show you how to bypass Google verification on the following device. So let me show you how to unlock FRP, how to activate your device without the Google credentials. So at the very beginning, you need to insert here the micro SD with two applications. The link to these apps will be under the video. Just insert the micro SD. Let me just show you that I've got the micro SD inserted here. As you can see, here I have my microSD. Just download the two application from our link and let's paste the application to your SD card. Afterwards, let's go back to the first screen. Of course, you have to have the internet access. I've got my Wi-Fi enabled. Now let's choose accessibility, choose vision. Let's enable the talkback, tap turn on. Now let's write L on the screen, choose text to speech right here, let's double tap to confirm it. All right, now let's press power key, choose power off and restart, choose restart again, let's wait a few seconds. All right, here we've got the talkback tutorial. Now let's write L on the screen again. Choose text to speech settings again. As you can see, now we can use other, other options. Now let's hold down together volume down and volume up. Let me do it. Let's suspend talkback by tapping OK. okay. Talkback Let's just swipe down right here. If the following options doesn't work, let's restart the device. Choose power off and restart, tap restart. All right, let's write L again on the screen. Let's wait a few seconds. All right, you can choose exit again. Let's write L on the screen. Choose talkback, choose text to speech settings, double tap to confirm it. And now let's just press power key, choose power off and restart, double tap to confirm it, tap restart, double tap to confirm it again. Let's wait a few seconds and let's do it again. All right, let's write L on the screen again and choose text to speech settings, double tap. Let's disable the talkback by using volume down and volume up. Tap OK, double tap. Let's swipe down. All right, that's what we need. Now let's use the settings icon right here. And now you can use the settings. So here you have to scroll down in order to find the security options so let me find the security here i have the security now choose phone administrations and here you have to deactivate the android device manager by using that button tap deactivate all right now let's go back and now you have to enable the unknown sources so let me do it let's enable the unknown sources and tap allow to to do it now let's go back to the settings and let's find and select the apps so here I have apps. From the applications, you need to choose more button in that corner and choose show system. So now from the following list, 
you need to find and select Google Account Manager. Scroll down to G and let's find Google Account Manager. Here I have the Google Account Manager. Let's tap it. And here let's tap on Disable. Tap Yes. And now let's choose Force Tap. Let's tap Force Tap button. Tap OK to confirm it. All right, now you can go back and find and select the Google Play Services. Here I have Google Play Services, let's tap it. All right, and now you need to also choose Disable. Tap Yes. And choose Force Tap. Tap OK. So that's what we need, let's go back. And now let's go back to the settings, choose storage. Let me find and select storage. Here I have the storage settings, let's choose it. And from the storage you need to choose explore. <coughs> mm, sorry, you need to choose... You need to choose explore near the SD card right here and choose this key right here. So let me choose the option menu, this is the option button. And now let's tap on the SD card. And as you can see here, you've got your two applications that you can use. At the very beginning, let's uh, install the FRP app, the first one right here. Let's tap next, tap install. The device is installing. All right, as you can see, the app was installed. That's what we need. So now we can tap done and let's install the shortcut maker. Tap install. Wait until the installing will be complete. All right, choose open. Here, let's find and select Google Play Store application. So let me scroll down. Let me tap done. Let's find Google Play Store. Here I have the following one. Let's choose it. And you need to find with well, the one with the uh, ending asset browser activity. Here I have the one. Now let's choose try. Wait a few seconds. Here you need to add Google account. Let's just add some Google account not connected to this device. Just the one that you know the email and password. It could be even a new one. Let's tap next. So let's now enter the password. All right, let's choose next again. Sorry, tap next. Tab accept. Choose open up again. Let's use a back key two times. Let's Go back again. Here, let's find and select the settings. So, let me find and select the settings. Here, I have settings. Sorry, let's choose applications right here. Let's go to Applications tab and here find and select the settings. 
choose settings tab try that's what we need now let's go to the apps right here find and select google account manager but before you can do it you have to choose show system right here let's find google account manager let's tap it and let's enable this right here all right let's go back and let's also find google play services here i have let's enable it again all right let's go back that's what we need now let's restart the device by pressing the power key tap power of and restart choose restart again wait until the welcome panel pops up All right, let's tab exceed right here. Let's use volume down and volume up to suspend talk, talk back. Tab OK. All right, now let's go next. Let me uh, go through the initializing setup process. Let me just skip everything. Tab next. Setup as a new. The device checking for updates. Alright, as you can see the following information pops up, so the account that we add previously is added, so let's tap next. The device getting the account information. Alright, let me choose not now to select the screen lock, tap skip anyway. Let me enable all of these Google services, tap next, choose no thanks. The device adding some finishing touches. Let me agree to the documents, tap done. And that's it, the home screen pops up, so you just activate your device. But to fully erase the factory reset protection, let's accomplish the hard reset by using the settings. So find and select the settings. So here I have settings. Scroll down and choose backup and reset. Tab OK. Here let's choose factory data reset. As you can see here we've got uh, the information about the account that you had previously, but let's just uh, reset this device. So you have to have at least 30% uh, of your battery. So if you have you can reset. If not, you can also remove the account. Let me do it. Let's find and select the accounts. Right here, choose more key, tab remove account. You just remove your account uh, if, you are, if you don't want to use it. But it's also good to accomplish the hard reset so you can do it by using the settings as I show you just a moment ago. So, that's it, everything went well, thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel, leave thumbs up under the video.